Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery and I have colors left from my last video that I'm going to take up with my spatula and use on this 10 by 10 inch by 2 inch canvas and maybe these as well and I want to have a white background and I don't mind if I have extra and I'm going to put an edge catcher down if I have paint come off then I have a place to retrieve it from so I'm thinking that this is just going to be something simple. We'll find out if that's the truth in a moment. I also think if I make enough paint go over the edges that I'll have paint to spread that way. <clears throat> but if I have enough paint to flow paint, that's not a bad thing either. I'm going to knock off my excess right into my little Michael's party section dish. And I'll be able to use that on the edges. All right, so I'm going to wipe off my spatula so I can use it again. And I was going to put that paint in the shovel, but I think I'm just going to put it right down. If I can even get it at all. <laughs> and I would really like to get it at all. I'm tempted, tempted, tempted by throwing some gold in there to freshen up what I've got and some purple flash. And I will probably put some black in. And I might put whatever other color I'm imagining in, which is coming with. What's coming to mind is the, um, the Venetian blue from Modern Masters. So I'm going to take this out of here. I've got a little more paint. I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Cattle spatula. And grab that pretty paint off my spatula. From one to the next, I've got some black paint in my shovel. It's gotten very thick. So I'm just going to augment it. And if I don't like what happens to my edges, I'm probably just going to do something simple like paint them black. Now usually I don't spread these out. I just stick a skewer in and manipulate them around. I kind of want something else over here. I don't see why I shouldn't make it whatever I want it to be. And a skewer is a great tool to help paint flow over the edge of a canvas you get a nice little wave of a sheet of it. And I know if I pull black through white I'll often get cells. So I'm thinking I might just play with it. Right where it's at. Grab another spatula. use any residuals just right over my edge. I've got great little cells happening there. I'm really happy about that. This is my number five. I like my number five almost as much as I like my number one. You can find the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula Mini Blades on the Amazon link under the link tree. One of the main reasons I wanted the background was so I could make those cells background white, I should say. This is my not bloom technique, <laughs> my version. I was thinking about some red metallic in my last video. Not not so much flow troll. Didn't shake that well enough. But I kind of like the idea still. 
I've got an airbrush and I could play with it now. My white paint is drying up fast. I did like the shapes of the black very much, but um, I also like the idea of having those cells. Really very tempted. I said I was going to put some blue in there and then I didn't do it, did I? That's not it. This is though. I might use them together. I thought I'd have a lot more negative space, white space than that. That's too bad, there was a little peacock there a second ago. My edges are becoming covered somehow. I'm really tempted by the black. Maybe some white, too. I use it to cover my edge. Maybe, if I can pick it up. Just using the black that's falling over the side to cover my side, my edges right there. And it's working okay. I think maybe a little Anita's white metallic. I am so inclined to grab some black. To lead some paint over the edge. Sort of blue mask. It's like a butterfly garden with flowers to me. I bet if I added some green stems, I could get that effect even better. I kind of hate to blow on my shapes because I'm I'm creating cells, but I'm destroying the stripes. Time to give up on the straw when it starts spilling. Yeah, I don't mind some of that falling right over the edge. Perfect, in fact. Leave it alone, come back later, it'll probably be perfect. Same with this over here. Not used to gallery up canvases, I paint so often that it's not economical for me. Now, what do I want with that blue? Anything? I think so. And I'm not done thinking about that green either. Now, I don't have to do anything with that, but it will sink. If I don't, it may sink anyway. white. I think I'm going to use something different. I actually got the black out to surround those shapes with. Because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab the green.
and a skewer. Unexpected garden. Very strange, very cool. I kind of like it. Still wish I'd saved a little more white. But I have that over there. And that's that Amsterdam uh, pearlescent. Violet that I play with every chance I get to see what I'm going to get someday, maybe. Am I done? I might be very close. New straw. <laughs> totally. Time for a new straw. Sorry about my head. I want to tip the whole thing. <laughs> I'll show you what I've seen right there. And I'll be covering my edges for a couple minutes. I got some really pretty cells. Yep, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to spiral some stuff out because it needs a focal point. And they are, after all, supposed to be flower shapes, right? Although I'm not so sure about those. That's still not bad. Not sure what that's meant to be. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. I hope you, if you like what I do, that you check out some of my playlists. All playlists and creative playlists on my YouTube channel. You can find in the libraries there. I really need... I use these cottage cheese lids to hold my canvas up. And they're very convenient when it comes to doing the edges. But like I said, I'm not used to doing this style at all. And I wish I could afford to all the time. Which reminds me, if you are interested in the monthly drawing, you can see what the prizes are on the end screen video with the exhibition, that's the exhibition video, on every video in the last 20 seconds. And you can be a contributor if you'd like to be through PayPal or Patreon. And that will get you automatically entered. Yeah, I'm using some of that black right next to some of the other color that's fallen over the side and it's working pretty well. What else have I not asked you for a thumbs up? Please can, can I have a thumbs up? Um, if you watch the videos longer, you help me out. If you watch the commercials, you definitely help me out. Um, 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 um. My edges are looking pretty good for the most part. Strangely, unexpectedly maybe even. And I've got the colors that I can fix them up with should I desire to. And I will probably desire to. And I will wait until you are gone for the rest of that. So, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are underneath the Linktree link along with my website. And what else? Everything else. Everything else is on there. Look on the community board for tomorrow's video. Look on the Linktree for a Facebook group's Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. Please join us if you'd like to. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for people who want to shop. Uh, Fine Art America and Pixels.com. I want one more green stem. And that's it right there. Yes, that helps. I'm happy to, happy to do that. Just pull up your little leaves. Because now I have three and I need something uneven. That's good. So I love you guys. I think I mentioned that. Uh, give me questions if you need to, and I'll answer them as I can. And uh, look for my paint pouring recipe under the video. Check my Amazon link out. If you shop there, it's no at a cost to you, and it helps me buy art supplies eventually some days, some months, eventually. 
not much lately. So thank you to everybody who's contributed. Thank you to everybody who shops my Amazon link. Shop my Teespring clothing. It's underneath the video. It has all of her print leggings and t-shirts. And know that I love you guys. And I will be fixing this up for a couple of minutes. I've got some really cute little cells. And I'm going to zoom in for you and call it a day. Well, maybe not a day. We'll call it a minute. Not bad for leftovers. Shovel board leftovers at that. Alright, whatever I forgot to tell you guys, I will tell you anon. <laughs> take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and um, I'm looking over there to see if there's anything, and I can't remember. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>